This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. We are learning new information about a motorcycle crash in Claremont County. It happened just before 10 Tuesday night on Route 727 in Wayne Township. Ohio State Highway Patrol tells us the driver of the motorcycle couldn't handle the curve and went off the road overturning. He and his passenger were both ejected. Two medical helicopters took both of them to the hospital with serious injuries. The Biden administration could announce another support package for Ukraine as soon as today. The country, the package rather, is expected to total $750 million and will include military support. The administration will complete delivery of a previously announced $800 million in military assistance for Ukraine this week. COVID-19's grip on the globe is on a downward trend. The number of new cases dropped 24 percent last week. World health officials say the deaths related to the virus fell 18 percent during that same time frame. As of April 10th, more than 496 million cases were confirmed worldwide. More than 6 million of them were deadly. More than 71,000 Ohio voters have asked for absentee ballots so far ahead of May's primary. Nearly 12,000 early votes have been cast. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose says so far the election is going smoothly. You can get information about how to vote absentee at VoteOhio.gov. Election Day is in just three weeks. Brandon? And you need to stay alert this evening. A threat for strong and severe storms exists from about 8 o'clock this evening through the early morning hours of Thursday, including the threat for wind, hail, and potential isolated tornadoes. Now, the window for that opens up after about 8 or 9 o'clock. Before then, we'll deal with scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder and storms. Those showers and storms will clear out by 1 or 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, the major threat out of this, most likely damaging wind gusts, and it's something you'll need to keep an eye on all night long.